الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين. This is the second learning radiology flashcard and it is dealing with the abdominal wall masses differential diagnosis. The common differential diagnosis of the abdominal wall mass include abdominal wall hernias, and it is including inguinal hernia, ventral hernia, umbilical hernia, and femoral hernia, spigerian hernia, lumbar hernia. Also include the abdominal wall abscess, and also include some of the sebaceous cyst, Liboma, colloid, hematoma, baroumbilical varices, and injection site masses, calcified scar, and muscle asymmetry. And we have also less common causes include endometriosis, calcinosis syndrome, soft tissue metastasis, lymphoma, leukemia, dysmoid tumor, and rhabdomyo lysis and sarcoma. Let us see some examples of the abdominal wall masses. And here we have inguinal mass, inguinal hernia with on the right side and with multiple lobe of non-obstructed small bowel. Here we have a cystic mass lesion and we have, this is on axial CT scan with patient with sebaceous cyst. And here, another patient, we have a large mass here and has fat density as the subcutaneous fat, and this is a lipoma. And here, very nicely demonstrating the normal appendix. Here we have patient with hematoma, as we see, and uh, there is large mass with extra vasation. As we see here, and with active bleeding, and here, this is the hematoma. Here, patient with uh, cirrhosis of the liver as we see here and we see the large bara umbilical varix as we see here and continuation of the bara umbilical varix and we see the collateral in the rectus muscle and subcutaneous fat and we call it this is the Cabret medusa, and here this is a bara umbilical varices, coronal rendering images after contrast CT scan with patient with portal hypertension, and we see the cabot medusa in the anterior abdominal wall. Here this is a patient with endometriosis as we see here in the axial T1 contrast MRI, and we have enhancing nodule on the right anterior pelvic wall. And at surgery, it is patient has post laboroc laboroscopic surgery. Here, another patient with endometriosis, as we see here, T1 contrast, MRI demonstrated speculated enhancing mass in the left anterior pelvic wall, and it is representing endometrioma in female with cyclic pelvic wall pain in this region. And here, this is a patient with soft tissue mass, as we see here, ill-defined hypodense in the midline anterior to the abdominal wall and it proving to be metastasis from colon cancer. 
Here another patient with uh, patient with uh, leukemia and lymphoma and demonstrate uh, uh, soft tissue mass uh, evolving to be chloroma in the right anterior abdominal wall patient with leukemia. Here a patient with uh, familial bilirubosis and we see soft tissue mass in the anterior pelvic wall and it is a dysmoidy tumor. Here another patient with dysmoidy tumor as we see here is the MRI T1 post contrast facet demonstrating large enhancing mass in the anterior abdominal wall with dysmoidy tumor. And here we have soft tissue mass as we see here on the right uh, gluteal region, superficial, and this is extra soft tissue ewing sarcoma evolving. And also we have fat lipoma here, intramuscular lipoma. Here, a patient uh, with uh, axial contrast enhanced CT scan with uh, barostomal colostomy, and we have the varices. We have the varices, and the patient has a primary sclerosing cholangitis with liver cirrhosis. And this is another patient with barostomal varices, as we see here. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك